Hello and welcome to Firecoder. In this video, we're going to install WordPress on IIS. Since WordPress is a content management system built in Core PHP, to install WordPress on IIS, we have to configure IIS to handle PHP requests. For that, we have to enable a CT module on IIS Manager, and then we'll be installing a PHP and register a PHP using PHP Manager. But first, open IS Manager and see if we have a CT module enabled. In the IS Manager, we don't have the CT module enabled. To enable CT module, go to Start Menu and type Control Panel. Click the Turn Windows Features on or off. From the Windows Features, expand Internet Information Services and then expand World Wide Web Services and then expand Application Development Features and select the CGI. Click OK to enable CG module on IS Manager. The CJ module has been enabled on IS Manager. Let's open IS Manager. Now you can see that you have the CJ module enabled. The next thing is we're going to install PHP Manager for IS. You can uh, download it uh, from the GitHub PHP Manager for IS. My machine uh, supports 64 bit, so I'm downloading the 64 bit executable. Click next to install, accept the license agreement and click next. So if you manage different versions of PHP in IS Manager, then I recommend you to download a PHP Manager for IS. Now open IS Manager. Now we have the PHP Manager in the IS Manager. Double click to open. Uh, PHP is not enabled. Register new PHP version to enable PHP via for CGI. So if you have a PHP installed on your machine, then you can register uh, using the register new PHP version. Or if you don't have PHP installed, then uh, you can download it from the official PHP website. For that. Go to php.net Click the download for Windows machines Click the Windows downloads If you are uh, using PHP for IIS then you have to download the non thread save Click the zip package Now extract the PHP package uh, to any directory of your choice. I prefer to uh, have my PHP package inside program files. I'm going to create a folder inside program files. I'm going to name it as PHP.
select the PHP folder and click extract give administrator permissions so we have extracted the PHP package to the directory now we have to rename the php.ini development to php.ini rename and remove the dash development hit enter so now we can uh, register the php version in the php manager close the window and go to is manager register new php version provide the path to the php executable inside program files we have the php package select the php executable open and click ok to register the php version So a handler mapping will be added when we register the PHP version. The configuration file has been set. Now check the uh, configuration. Select default website and click OK. So this means that we have a configured IIS to handle PHP requests. The so handler mapping was added to the handler mappings for that particular version of PHP. This is the mapping that was added. Now we are going to download and install WordPress. For that, go to WordPress.org and download the WordPress latest version copy the WordPress uh, package to the inetpub folder Now uh, we have to create a database for this WordPress site. For that, uh, uh, bring up command prompt. Change the directory pod to point to MySQL binaries. Let's get the pod to the MySQL binaries so that we can connect to the MySQL server and create database. Copy the pod. Now we can connect to the MySQL database. I'm using root account to connect to the MySQL server. Enter the password. Uh, 
uh, shell databases. Uh, we are going to create a new database. Create database. Oh, WordPress. A database, uh, a new database is created. Now oh, we are going to open IS Manager and uh, add the WordPress website. Open IS Manager. Right click on sites. Add website. Give a site name. Select the path to the WordPress directory. Changing the port to 8.9. Leave the host name as it is. Click OK. We're going to add one more binding for this WordPress site. This time with port number 80 and we're going to give a host name. Click OK. Let's open the WordPress site in the browser. So we're not able to reach the site because uh, the domain name, WordPress domain name is not mapped to the IP address. To map the IP address to domain name, uh, we have to open Notepad and run it as administrator. Go to this spot and find the host file where we will be adding a new entry. Select all files and we have a host file. Open that. Here add a new entry to map the domain name to IP address. The domain name is WordPress. Save the file and close. Now if we reload the page, we are able to access the site. Click let's go. Give a database name that we just created. Enter username and password. Database host is local host. If you want to change the table prefix, you can change that. Click submit. The config file is not uh, write, written to the uh, WordPress folder because it has uh, write permission issues. So we're going to create the config file manually. For that, open Notepad with the administrator permission. Copy the config file rules and paste. Save the file in the WordPress root directory. Give the file name as wp config.php.
save the file click save close that now run the installation enter site title enter username and I provide a password enter email address and install WordPress click install WordPress So we have successfully installed WordPress on IIS. Click login. Enter username. And enter password. Click login that will take us to the admin panel. So, this is the admin panel. We are running WordPress uh, 6.4.2 version. Now you can start creating uh, pages and uh, post contents. Oh, 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 oh,